What's up YouTube, Robbie Vapes back again with another video. Uh, I wasn't expecting to make a video today, but I have a few things I want to talk about. Uh, I got some vape mail today, which I wasn't expecting for a couple more days. So I'm pretty stoked it came in. Um, we'll get to this in a second. In the meantime, I want to do a couple more shout outs, a couple more, um, talk about a little bit more stuff as well. I'll put links in the description so you can fast forward through all this, but I hope you don't because it's very important to me that you listen. Um, First person I want to give a shout out to is uh, Vapen Heathen. He's a YouTuber as well, uh, just started an account. He's been around for a while, I think. In fact, he was one of the first people to comment on my videos. Really supportive guy, um, super nice. And he just released his first video. It's it's a really good video, guys. Like, it's really, really good. It's much shorter than mine, and it's so much more detailed, and I highly recommend checking it out. I think I'm gonna put a link to it actually in the description below so you guys can all see what I'm talking about. It's a seven, it's a, it's, it's a review on seven different sub ohm tanks and he includes all the really popular ones, some maybe not so popular and does a full seven head to head to head to head to head to head to head. I don't know if I got the right amount of uh, verses in there, but anyways, uh, he, his video was phenomenal. I enjoyed every second of it. It was so good. It was only like 11 minutes and change along. Really good video, so huge shout out. That's Vapen Heathen. Uh, Vapen, V-A-P-I-N, space Heathen, H-E-A-T-H-E-N. Um, and again, I'll put a link to this video below because it is phenomenal. It's a really good video, really informative. I learned some things I didn't know about it, um, about some of these tanks, so it was really cool to see it. And for me to learn some stuff from him. And he's a very knowledgeable guy. He actually introduced me to a, a kind of like a social group, uh, the Vape Dumb. And it's a really cool site. I'm on it now. It's a really, really informative place to go to talk to their vapors. Really cool, guys. Um, anyway, so that's my first shout out. My second shout out is to all of you guys watching. Thank you so much for watching these videos. As of this video, I think I'm at something like 4,300 views, which is absolutely nuts. I, I cannot believe in just this short time, I have so many people following. You know, all my subscribers out there, truly, thank you so much. I, I can't tell you how much it means to me. So anyways, I won't go into too much more detail here. Let's get to this package, let's unbox it, let's open it up, and uh, we'll talk on this for a little bit as well. All right guys, we're up close and personal with this. This is my package. As I'm sure you can tell, this is at a different angle than what I normally do. Uh, the package was a little bit too big to do it through my point of view type setup I have. Um, and if anyone's wondering from my point of view stuff, all I do is stick the camera on one of these little small tripods and put it up in front of the package and let it kind of show down. I got a pretty wide angle camera, it's pretty good. It's a nice camera, I spent a little bit more money than I thought I was going to spend on a camera, but it works pretty well, so I guess I can't complain. Different setup here, so hopefully you guys like it. If you don't, let me know and I'll try and go back to the original. Or if you like this one better, um, let me know and I'll keep it with this for all my other videos for up close. Anyways, I've got it flipped over so you can't see my address. Uh, I apologize if anyone is out there trying to rob me. I'm sorry to inconvenience you, but that is just who I am. So we're going to open this package up. And there we go. Put the knife aside. We may need it later on, but for now, let's take this out. So here's the package. Crazy, right? It's a package within a package, it's package -ception. All right, so I wasn't expecting there to be another package on here, but I guess there is. Uh, so I will open this one up now. There we go, that should be good. And we will take it out. Throw that aside. The invoice, I'm just gonna take that out off there. And here we go. So this is what we have. We have the vape box. Anyone who doesn't know what this is, this is a subscription service, much like the Zample box and the craft vapery and things like that. Uh, the reason I chose this one over those two is primarily because there's a little extra goodie in here where I felt it was almost like an insurance policy. So in this you get your juice, which I'll be trying out as well on camera. But not only do you get the juice, you also get uh, a piece of hardware, and if you, depending on your package, the first package you only get juice, the second package up, which is what I got, you get one piece of hardware, 
And the third package, you get two pieces of hardware plus 75 mils of juice. The second package, you get 60 mils of juice plus one piece of hardware. And the first package, you get uh, 45 mils of juice. So I'm going to open it up from this way so you guys can't really see. Well, I guess you can, but you know what? Screw it. I may as well just open it up this way. So there it is. Vape box. This is my welcome box. So you can see right there. It's got a list of things on the back here. You guys can pause the video here if you want to read it. Um, I'm going to put this aside for now. You can see you get all this freaking crinkled up cardboard in here. I have my garbage can right next to me, so we'll be doing that. So I'm just going to remove all of this stuff right over here and into the garbage. Hopefully I don't throw anything away, but I don't think so. I should be good. And here is what we have. More stuff, okay. Even more stuff. You know what, let's just take out the stuff that's relevant. Oh yes, yes, yes. So my piece of hardware is a new mech mod, which is pretty freaking cool. Uh, I will open this up in a second, but I was kind of expecting a mech mod in here, but it was supposed to actually be the Hades clone, which I already have. I didn't even say anything to them that I already had it, and yet somehow I still managed to um, avoid it. I don't know, just pure luck, I guess. That's pretty cool, though. I'll check that out later on. Uh, so the first juice I have is battery acid. You can see just right in there. That's a battery acid, which is kind of cool. It's, I think it's by Fredericks, looks to be. It is a three milligram, which is awesome, because you have a choice between um, for, for the drippers, you can basically get a choice of 3 slash 6 or 0 slash 3. I decided to do the 3 slash 6 to be ballsy. I hope I don't get too much 6s, but um, we'll see. This is another 3 milligram. This is called Jedi Juice. Awesome name. I'll be looking these up and then I'll come back when I do the vaping on them to tell you the exact flavors. And finally, we have a... Oh, I guess I selected... 3 slash 0, not 3 slash 6, because this is a uh, 0 milligram. This is Fruity Patootie by Fresh and Juicy. So that's kind of cool. Let's just put it up there. These are actually some pretty cool juices. I'm pretty stoked about the uh, Jedi juice, so uh, it's a 50-50 mix. It's labeled right on it. I'm going to go to Battery House next, see if it's labeled on the mixture. Uh, it doesn't appear to be labeled, and the Fruity Patootie, it looks thick, um, maybe a 60-40, maybe 50-50, I don't know, but anyways, and I have one more in here, which is kind of cool, it's a little like vial in here, I've seen these before, this is Kiwi Strawberry, it's 0 milligrams, it's in 70-30 mix, um, so I got two zeros, two threes, uh, I guess I selected 3 slash 0 instead of 3 slash 6, which is what I thought I selected. But that's okay. I'm happy with zero milligram stuff. Why not? Uh, take out all this crap in here. And then we'll get to the mech mod here. Good enough. So, that is my first welcome box of vape box. Um, and let's check out this mech mod. I'm kind of excited about this. I don't know. We'll see. So this is really interesting actually. It's got a very interesting lock on it. Um, anyways, so it appears to be it's labeled prime and I'm just trying to get 1323. Yeah, 1323 Prime. Uh, it's different, that's for sure. This thing comes apart a lot, so it's obviously made for several different batteries. Uh, we can see here. Let you see the bottom of it. Don't know if it's going to focus or not, though. Looks to be focusing, so you can see the bottom. Uh, yeah, this thing is pretty cool. Um, 
It's a new mod, so I never complain about new mods. I don't know what the value on this thing is, but I'm sure no matter what, it's going to be good. Uh, I believe this is actually a hybrid type mod. If you can see there, there's no connection pin there, so that is kind of scary. I'm not a big fan of hybrids, but it is what it is. So, that being said, uh, that is the piece of hardware I got. Either way, I'm still pretty stoked. got a nice mod that I didn't have already. Uh, no complaints there. And yeah, apart from that, let's get back up and let's vape these four new flavors and tell you what they taste like. All right, guys, we're back up top now and we're gonna be using the uh, Di uh, Mephisto El Diablo clone as the taster today. Uh, just switched up a little bit, it's a little bit of a lower build. It's like 0.23 build, so it should be pretty fun to vape on. A um, few things to mention. So this is actually called the 4.9 by H Cigar. I apologize, I didn't, I've, I'm didn't. i not a huge H Cigar buyer. Not, I'm not necessarily not a fan, I'm just, I've never bought H Cigar products. So um, mainly because no, not many people in Canada sell them. So this is kind of cool, I'm glad I got it. Really nice uh, mod here. The button just feels so good down here. Uh, the only complaint I have is that, you, again, it's direct contact to the battery, which is something I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, on top of that, I have the page up here actually on my computer for uh, reviews on it, and some of these reviews are quite scary. Uh, one of them was saying that he was using it and he got a shock out of it, which if I get a shock, I'm chucking it across the room. I don't want to be anywhere near that battery when this thing goes off, if it does. Uh, second thing I read is that the firing pin or the firing button gets extremely hot very fast. Another thing I'm not really a fan of, um, kind of scary. So what I may do is I may try and see if I have any sort of, I believe it's an 18650, I haven't actually checked yet, but if I have any other 18650 top caps for the, my mods that will fit on this that are more traditional, because if I do, I'm going to switch it out. Um, and if I don't, I will be using it with caution eventually. I don't know how long it's going to take me to work up the balls to do it, but I don't know. I just, yeah, fuck it, right? Who knows? Anyways, um, really cool lock. You actually twist it out, so now it can't be pushed. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm pretty far away. But uh, I've said that before. My camera screen is super small, so but when it comes out on video, I can usually see what I'm doing. Hopefully that's the case in this one. Same thing here. Even when it isn't locked, it does sit flush with the bottom here. So you have to push in to fire it. Um, that being said, I would never leave this unlocked in my pocket because you never know if like keys or something are going to get in there and end up pushing that button, um, which is one thing you don't want. But anyway, so it's a 4.9 by H Cigar in case anyone cares. Uh, and yeah, let's get into the juice tasting. So I've got three of the four juice pages up, their actual website, so I can check out what they're supposed to taste like. I haven't looked at them yet. I figure we'll do a game kind of thing where I try these out and let you know what I'm tasting and then see how close I am to the description. Um, the only one I couldn't find a page for is this fresh and juicy uh, fruity patootie stuff. So I don't know if it's new, it's not on the vape box website, it's not on any other websites I can find. I don't know if this is like a house blend or something or what, but uh, we're going to open it up, take a smell, I'm going to tell you what I smell, then we're going to drip on here, close it up and we'll take a couple hits. So with that being said. Let's open this guy up and see what we're looking at. It's a very familiar smell. Um, I want to say like a fruit punch maybe. I'm not entirely sure. It's it's almost like I'm getting like a fruit punch mixed with like a juicy fruit almost, like the gum. It's, I, I, I don't know, it's familiar to me, but it's different at the same time. So it's it's not what I'm used to. But uh, anyways, we'll uh, drip on this and let's see how it tastes. It smells good, by the way. You know, it definitely smells pretty good, but I don't know how it's gonna taste. So we'll juice up our coils here, and the cotton. Uh, this is zero milligrams, so I shouldn't have any problem distinguishing taste on this, but then again, you guys are kind of at my mercy because there's no webpage to actually confirm my taste, which means you guys are literally relying on my taste buds, which is a scary thought. Um, I do have my beer here to uh, act as a palate cleanser. Um, but yeah, so let's get this thing on here and see what it vapes like. Ooh, there we go. You know, the one thing I've noticed with this El Diablo clone is it is really hard to get this top cap off. 
And of course, there's no other way just to take off the top piece, which would make it so much easier for dripping the way I drip. I know some people just drip right through like the, the drip tips. I don't do that. I don't like doing that. I like actually getting into the cotton and juicing it up, making sure I don't get a dry hit, but just me. Anyways, let's take a hit off this. Uh, this is my Hades clone, in case anyone was wondering. And uh, again, this is the Mephisto El Diablo clone as well. So I do not seem to be getting any vapor out of this. Uh, wow, that is extremely disappointing. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry about that. I changed the battery in here. Um, I wasn't sure if it was a dying battery. I was kind of surprised at how little vapor I got out of that. Um, it's still not vaping too well. I checked to make sure it didn't have a short. Everything's looking good. It's at 0.23 ohms, like I said it was. Uh, both, I mean, this battery is now freshly charged. That one maybe wasn't, so I figured that could have been it. But I'm just, I don't know. I'm not getting very much vape production of this, so I ended up putting in another juice to make sure that it, I could confirm it was the juice. So I put in some Cowtown juice in there, which I know produces some really nice clouds. Um, so I'm gonna take a hit off this and let's see how it compares to this Cowtown. See, that's more of the vapor I was expecting to get. I mean, this isn't a huge cloud tracing build by any means, but I was expecting to get a lot more vapor than what I did. I'm gonna try dripping again. Juice it back up with the, uh, the fresh and juicy, uh, juicy patoot patootie or whatever it's called, or fruity patootie. Um, let's see if I still get that weak cloud like I did before. It's a little bit better. Uh, might have been the battery. Could have been the battery that did it. Um, but uh, yeah, so flavor wise, what am I getting? Let me take another hit off this real quick. Um, unlike the smell, I seem to be getting a little bit more of the citrus on this. It's not a strong citrus, it's actually a pretty good citrus. Um, so it's not too bad. The flavor's not bad. Um, I don't know if I'd consider this an all-day vape. So I don't know. And the fact that they don't have a web page or anything on it is a little bit disconcerting. You're gonna have to take my word for it. I'm getting a little bit of citrus out of it. It's like a sweet orange kind of thing. That's pretty much what I can tell you about it. So I'll take one more hit off it and then we'll move on to the next one. Yeah, vapor production isn't too bad now. So it's probably just a battery. Um, I need some time to soak into the wicks. So let's take that off. All right guys, we're back. I dried out my coils a little bit to my cotton. Um, and I'm on to the next one. This is the uh, nude nicotine kiwi strawberry. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna taste like kiwi strawberry. Just a hunch. I'm not psychic or anything, but I don't know, it's pretty simple. It's, it's a pretty simple label, so I actually kind of like that. Nothing like too fancy for the name or anything. Oh, you guys aren't gonna believe this. It smells like strawberry kiwi. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Um, yeah, it, it smells like it's labeled. I'm assuming it's gonna taste like it's labeled. If it does, it's actually gonna be a pretty good one. It's a 70-30 VG to PG mix. I have a spare dropper from one of my old tanks or one of my old bottles I, I had. I kept it just for this purpose pretty much. Um, I'm gonna try to get in here and get some juice in there. Should be good. It's off to the side and start dripping on the cotton here. So uh, yeah, I mean, smells exactly like it's described as, like the name, which is kind of refreshing to be honest. You know, no crazy names or anything. Although sometimes crazy names are fun. Like for example, Jedi Juice. I'm obsessed with this name. I love that name, by the way. Uh, I'm sure I've heard of it before, but just having it in my possession is just awesome. It's probably gonna be the one I hate the most, just because I keep hyping it up so much. But uh, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. So this is... Oh, there we go. It only took a million tries to get that stupid thing on. 
Actually, it didn't take that long. Usually it takes a lot longer. Um, anyway, so we are good. Air holes are lined up. And let's take a hit. It's good. It's it's really good actually. It um, it definitely tastes like strawberry kiwi. Uh, not so much like the real strawberry kiwi, like like real fruit. I actually one more hit. It's good. It tastes like uh, Capri Sun. Like the, if you ever had the Capri Sun um, strawberry kiwi that they do, it tastes pretty much exactly like that. It's actually really good. Um, I kind of wish I had a little bit of nicotine in it, but I'll still probably vape it anyways because it is a pretty good juice. So uh, yeah, uh, thumbs up for uh, Nude Vapor. And I guess just for shits and giggles, let's check out the website and see if I'm right and see what their description is. I don't know how you describe strawberry kiwi any more than just strawberry kiwi. So here's what it says. A combo that goes back as long as we can remember. Our flavors attempt to stay as true to the two as we can, since they are rightfully inseparable. So yeah, turns out I was right. Who would have thought? All right guys, next up is the Battery Acid by Fredericks. Um, first comment is it's gonna be a pain in the ass trying to get the dripper in there. I've already actually dripped onto it because it really was as hard as I thought it would be. The dripper basically doesn't fit. It actually got stuck in here once. That's what it looks like. You can get it in about, I don't know, a quarter of the way inch. This is a super small uh, dropper, so um, yeah, I may end up pouring this into another bottle just so I can drip it better if I like it especially. Uh, this is three milligrams, which I'm excited about. This is my first nicotine flavor. Uh, what I imagine battery acid would taste like or would smell like was the hawk sauce. So I'm gonna take a quick whiff of this and tell you what, I act, what it actually smells like. Smells sweet. Um, I can't really put my nose on it. Like it's, I don't know. I don't even know what to expect with this one. This, it smells different, it smells sweet. Um, it smells good, but it doesn't smell like hawk sauce. And I don't, I don't know why I associate battery acid to hawk sauce, but uh, for some reason I do. Um, before we take a hit off this, we're gonna take our palate cleanser here because you know, this is very important guys. Just like that, I'm cleansed. All right, we're gonna put this back on. That wasn't too painful. Um, and we're gonna start vaping this, see how it vapes. Maybe like a sweet apple. I'm gonna be so far off on this one, it's not even gonna be funny. It's gonna be painful. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I haven't checked the flavor, I swear, and I'm kinda tasting like a green apple, like a green apple Jolly Rancher, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna go with green apple Jolly Rancher, because that's what I'm tasting. Um, it's definitely sweet. So let's see what it's actually. Oh, okay, here we go. I was pretty close, actually. Um, so it is a, this is their description, a mouth puckering sour apple sweet tart. This is a great flavor that packs a, bun packs a bunch. Um, I think they meant punch. It is a very sour apple that tastes similar to a sweet tart candy. I get more of like a, a, a sour apple Jolly Rancher. Um, so I was close, I had, I had apple right. That's good. Um, I'm happy about that, that's a win for me. Turns out my palate isn't as bad as I thought it was. So I'm gonna take another hit and uh, see if I get any of the tart that they're saying. To me, it's, it's actually more sweet than tart. I'm not tasting any tart, but I am tasting apple. So, you know, good job me. Yeah, I'm getting the same thing, uh, like a Jolly Rancher apple. It's really good actually. And three milligrams of nicotine, it's very, it's not, it's not very strong, it's very pleasant. Uh, it's tolerable, it's good actually, I, I like it. I, I recommend it, it's, it's very good. Uh, especially if you like Jolly Ranchers. This is probably the closest Jolly Rancher I've tried out of all the Jolly Rancher flavors I've actually tried. 
So, um, yeah, that's good. It's really good. I like it. All right, guys, I've dried off my wicks again, and uh, the moment I've been waiting for, the Jedi juice. Uh, I am not sure what at all to expect from this. Three milligram juice, 50-50 blend. Uh, let's take a whiff and see what I smell. Oh, no way. Oh, please be what I think it is. I'm smelling banana, guys. This could mean trouble. I'm definitely smelling banana. Please be banana. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm just psyching myself up a little bit, but I cannot wait to try this. Please be banana. Come on. Let's juice up our wicks here. I'm still smelling banana. Um, that's all I'm smelling right now. That's all I care about. So let's find out if I'm right. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. This is banana. I'm going to be ordering a ton of this stuff. I've been looking for a good banana vape and I have yet to find one since the BYOB. Nothing stocks up. This one smells like it might. It smells very similar to it. And I wish I could let you guys smell both of them so you could you could kind of get your, or make your own opinion. And of course, this stupid top cap just does not want to cooperate with me. There we go, it's on. Make sure it's tight. Should be good. Everything's lined up. All right guys, the moment of truth. The Jedi juice, let's see what it tastes like. Uh, ignore the vapor production because I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with this. Um, with this setup I have, I haven't been getting very much vapor out of any of these, so let's see here. I'm tasting a muted banana and something else, but I don't know if there's something else is the battery acid, and you know what? I made a mistake, guys. I forgot to cleanse my palate, so I guess I'm just gonna have to take another swig of this. All right, we're ready now. Okay, so. I feel like my mind is telling me to taste banana, and I'm not sure I'm tasting it anymore. I, I think I am, but I may have hyped myself up a little much on that. Uh, one more pull and let's find out. Yeah, I'm gonna go with banana. Um, I'm not sure if I'm right. It's, it's a muted banana, but I, I could be wrong, so let's find out. Our description. Here we go, guys. Yes, yes. This is our description, guys. Ready for this? Layered effect of banana on the inhale and graham cracker on the exhale, among some other flavors. I was right. To a certain extent, I was right. I told you it was banana, so I went... Basically two for two. I'm not going to include the kiwi in that because that doesn't count. And the fresh and juicy, I have no idea where I'm at with that. Like I said, it's like a citrusy, sweet orange kind of thing. Maybe like a tangerine or something. Um, but this one, I, I, oh man, I can't wait to put this one in a clear tank, in a sub tank, and just vape it on it all day long. And then probably order 10 more bottles just because I want to. Um, so yeah, so thanks for sitting through this. I know this was another long video because I can't seem to keep my video short enough. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, do I want to talk about anything else before I go? I don't think so. Um, so again, thank you guys all for watching, for checking this out. This was Vape Box. I'll put a link in my uh, description here below so you guys can actually you know, try it out for yourself. I did get a $10 off coupon code when I signed up. So if you guys want to use that, I'll put it in the description. Uh, be forewarned that if you do use it, um, you will be helping me out as well. So if you don't want to help me out, then you don't have to use it. But basically how it works is if anyone uses my $10 discount code, I in turn also get $10 off. Um, so we both get $10 off. Um, if you don't want to help me out, I respect that, absolutely. And if you do want to help me out and you're thinking about getting one anyways, you may as well try and save 10 bucks off it. So uh, 
yeah, I'll put that in the description below. And I guess until next time, YouTube, that's not going to be the clouds I want, so we're just going to go right to the uh, Heracles, which will be up soon. The new video for this will be coming out soon. And uh, until next time, happy vaping, YouTube.